There hasn't been too many changes to the way in which taxes on investments are going to be treated. The dividends tax stays the same, the tax on interest more or less the same, they haven't changed any thresholds. I think that the biggest impact to uh, the taxpayer and investors as well is that they didn't make any adjustments to the tax brackets. So as a result, through natural inflation of a person's income, salary, pension, whatever, you'll find that your effective tax rate will actually increase. You know, normally they do actually make adjustments for that so that they keep people at the same effective tax rates adjusting for inflation. This time around they didn't. And it's going to be the biggest contributor to the revenue growth for the tax base in the next year. We've always had the sin tax increases, we've had the fuel levy increases. In this budget we've got a, a carbon tax increases. It was much of the same that we'd almost seen in this year's budget, except for two things. I think the first thing is this infrastructure fund. And what's interesting about this infrastructure fund, you know, government's going to contribute to it. There's going to be these development finance institutions like the development bank and things that will also contribute to it. But they are requiring private sector involvement. Now, you know, if I told you 10 years ago that uh, government was considering uh, involving the private sector in infrastructure building or infrastructure assets like the likes of Eskom, for instance, you probably wouldn't have believed me. So it's interesting to see the mindset of President Ramaphosa's government and you know, how they would like to see a little bit more skills from the private sector coming into government, which I think is very positive. I think the private sector still has the majority of the skills still. Of course, there was also this initiative to help promote employment through the Jobs Fund, especially in youth unemployment. A uh, big problem in South Africa and the idea is that uh, you know, if you employ youth and you train them and you upskill them uh, and make them even more employable, that addresses the long-term uh, structural unemployment issues in the country. So I thought those two things were very positive. <music>